A 2015 report by the International Diabetes Federation reveals that Singapore has the second highest proportion of diabetics among developed nations. This is second only to the US. Private healthcare professionals in Singapore are also concerned, and one of them has stepped up to make a change. Paul Musk is a startup that combines data analysis and human expertise to help its clients manage chronic diseases. One of its products is Glycoleap, a health app that allows users to monitor their blood glucose levels and get expert advice from a dietitian from 9am till 7pm. Their specialty, keeping your diabetes in check. It's a disease that's with you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and it doesn't go away. And yet the reality right now in the system is that patients only spend about 1% of their time with a health professional. We intend to actually plug that gap during that 99% of time patients are away from the hospital and clinic. So most diabetics need to see their dietitians every two to three months because they need to keep a close eye on what they're eating. So what we have here is a dietitian in your hand making it really simple. For instance, I bought some food from the Japanese store. All I need to do is take a picture of it so once I've done that, I just need to send it on to the dietitian, and they will come back with some feedback and recommendations as to just how nutritious this food might be, how often I should eat it. I'll give you an example. I sent in a picture of some cookies that I had for a snack, and this is what the dietitian had to say. First of all, how often are you eating that? Is that a regular meal? If you are, it's a bad idea because it's pretty high in sugar and fat, it's low in fiber and vitamins. Uh, so if you need to have it, once in a while, but do not skip a meal and have cookies instead. So lots of uh, recommendations just telling you what it is you're eating and how nutritious it might be. This is something that Madam Wan needs to monitor carefully and she's been using an app like that to help her in her daily life. Let's see how she fared. Madam Wan was diagnosed with diabetes in 2012. Her condition initially worsened because of poor diet management. I didn't really take care of my health. I just don't care what I eat, what goes into my body. But with the help of a glucose tracker, her phone camera and real-time feedback on her nutrition, Madame Wan's glucose levels have since stabilised. You remind me, have you taken your insulin? Have you taken your medication? So, oh yeah, then if they see there's something wrong with my sugar level, then they will remind me again, uh, what kind of food you eat? Is there any snack in between? I find it is very um, convenient and make me more disciplined towards myself. With the new measures and variety of tools available, taking charge of your own health is becoming cheaper and easier than ever. But don't wait till it's too late. You don't want to become a statistic in the war on diabetes. Just like with diabetes, there are tools in place to help us. But again, it's up to us to lead a healthy lifestyle and to cut down on that cha kwe tiao. As with many things in life, moderation is key and it's really up to each of us to strike that balance. So, let me leave you with a thought. How about some brown rice for dinner tonight? For Talking Point, I'm Stephen Chia. Bye-bye.